Greetings, adventurers. It's time to visit an exciting world for the first time. A place filled with mysterious secrets passed down as old stories. The Great Ocean will be revealed to the adventurers soon. And before the update, I'll set out to the Great Ocean and show you what will be coming. I won't keep you waiting, guys. Let's go. After completing the North Valencia main quest, the Kadri Gatekeeper, the new story, Off to Sea, becomes available. Through this story, you will be able to access the vast sea of the Great Ocean. On the world map of the Great Ocean, undiscovered locations are concealed by dark fog and their location icons are invisible. To remove this fog, you need to explore and visit the main island of that area. Once you do that, the fog will be gone and the area will be visible on the world map. Okulia coins is commonly used currency in the Great Ocean. The coins can be used in the Shikata shop or for trades in the Great Ocean. Okulia coins can be obtained by defeating monsters, Great Ocean fish delivery, Great Ocean appraisal, and other various ways. Before we start sailing, let's take a look at the ships. Your ship stats will increase along your sailing level. So, the higher your sailing level is, the stronger your ship will be. You can increase your sailing level in the Great Ocean via defeating monsters, fishing, and through the treasure recovery. We also need to take a quick look at Endurancy. You can find the Endurancy gauge at the bottom center of the screen. Endurancy will decrease as you defeat monsters and claim rewards. You'll not be able to claim rewards or gain experience points if Endurance runs out. However, Endurance resets every Monday at midnight, so make sure to use all of your Endurance and claim rewards before then. The compass on the minimap indicates wind direction, wind speed, and where north is located. You can sail faster if you sail with the wind, but you'll be slowed down when you're against the wind. While sailing, you may find roll winds that can provide you with the power of wind. When the ship goes through the whirlwind, the power of wind effect will increase your sailing speed for a short time. It will dissipate on its own as you continue sailing. But using a whirlwind is not the only way to increase your sailing speed. You can also use the speed up button to sail more quickly. Speed up can be activated once the related gauge is filled, and the gauge increases faster when sailing with the wind. Well, that's a brief look into sailing, and now, Let's move on to the content that you can enjoy in the Great Ocean. You can fish anywhere in the Great Ocean. Certain locations called fishing hotspots can be located where seagulls are gathered. You'll earn better items by fishing at the hotspot when compared to regular fishing. The fish that you've caught can be delivered to the NPCs at ports and in the craft materials exchange menu in exchange for craft materials. You can earn steel, plywood, and tears of goddess by delivering fish this way. You can also earn special items by recovering treasures drifting on the sea. Once you accept and complete wanted missions at ports, you will get Okulia coins as well as steel and plywood to enhance fittings and ship parts to upgrade your ship. If you don't like what you see on the wanted mission list, you can refresh it once a day. Wanted missions can be completed up to 7 times a week. You can load cannonballs into the cannons on your ship. Hold the fire button and choose the direction you want to aim, then release the button to fire. You can obtain various cannons by upgrading your ship. A new collection containing Great Ocean stories will be available. You can fill each collection with items found in the Great Ocean. You can learn about each ocean area and the ship grade needed to sail there from the sailing guide. With this, you can verify what content and which part of the sea would be best for you before you set out to sail. West Ross Sea is known as the Outlaw Waters, where you can engage in ship combat with other adventurers. Pirate ships also spawn in the Outlaw Waters, and you can earn coral chests here by defeating pirate ships and monsters. The chests can drop ship parts along with the Pedex Pirate Island in the division. Pedex Pirate Island can also be found in the Ross Sea. 10 Pedex Pirate Island invitations are required to enter the island. And while mentioning that you can earn these invitations by opening pearl chests looted from pirate ships and monsters, you can also obtain invitations by completing weekly tests. 
You and your ship crews can battle together in Paddock's Pirate Island to earn treasure trove of Oculia coins and silver. You can build a Sylvia Goddess statue in your camp if your town hall level is 4 or higher. Tears of Goddess can be gathered from the Great Ocean, then offered to the statue to increase its level. AP and DP are awarded upon each level gained. The stats earned from the Sylvia Goddess statue will apply to all characters in your family. Are you ready to have an adventure and gain honor through the Great Voyage? Now hire your anchor and spread your sail towards the Great Ocean, full of never-ending adventures and precious treasures. Why don't you join me as I prepare to set off to the Great Ocean?